you might be wondering what you're looking at right now. It's a dead head. What's up everybody? Just chilling with Tracker. In my room. December 14th. Probably should be elk hunting, but I didn't. I decided to take care of a few things today. I'll probably go tomorrow for the last day of Utah's extended archery hunt. But I have something I want to show you guys. It has to do with elk hunting. It is a deadhead bull that I've been after for two years, known about the bull for four, but like I've really specifically targeted this bull for two years, passed up other bulls, hoping to get shots at this one, and it just never happened. So a quick rundown before I show you the bull. His name is Diablo. Uh, I gave him that name because last year in 2018, he grew like three, four inch devil tines on each side. So hence the name, Diablo devil tines. I had some really close calls this year with him and uh, Maybe if I was a little smarter, would have got shots. I don't know. For like three or four hours, I had him within 100 yards, 30 yards, but never got shots in the thick timber. Just how bow hunting elk goes in the rut. Anyways, I'll show you him. But first, check out Tracker. Handsome boy, huh? Has his little deer antler. Been chewing on. This is Diablo. What is left of him? over the counter um, archery only bull elk so you're probably wondering how is he in my room if i didn't shoot him well we don't know how he died but a friend of mine about a month ago contacted me and this is the cool thing about social media contacted me and sent me a picture of a bull elk dead in a, a meadow a big meadow immediately i knew it was diablo just because of his antler characteristics you could see he's got these banana shaped tines that really hook his front view is very distinct as well big old fronts his thirds hook up anyways I knew it was Diablo as soon as I saw the picture so I hit him up and I said hey man I have some history with that bull really would love to get that that head and um, so he told me it was gonna come down to whatever the DNR said and they had to go inspect it as that's the rules in Utah it's the DNR has to inspect a dead head to make sure there's no poaching or anything involved before you can take it out. Anyways, he got the clear to take it out and he hiked up and packed it out for me. But <laughs> thankfully, he could not saw through the skull plate because I did want to Euro mount him like this. And you could see Hunter did try to uh, saw through there. So thankfully he couldn't do that. Sawed it off at the neck and hiked it out for me. So I'm very happy that Hunter did that for me and was willing to uh, sell the antlers to me or the head. So this is Diablo Tracker checking him out. You can see he got broke up back here. When I was hunting him, that was not broke, his fifth point. Oh, big stretch, huh? His royal was broke when I was hunting him and in the trail cam photos I got of him that I'll post up. I'm hoping to get these points fixed. Even his third is chipped, his second is chipped. He was a fighter, he got broke up last year as well. But just a stud bull. We should score him and uh, see what he scores to show you guys. But the thing that hurts them is, hey, don't, don't chew on him, that's a keeper. Take your horn and lay down. Oh boy, lay down there. Don't chew on this one. On this particular unit, the roll or the uh, the main beams are not long. It's just in the genetics they're not long. So he has great tine length everywhere, and his mass is decent. But the royal or the the main beam length is what's going to kill him score wise. The lighting sucks in my room. Sorry, but he's got this cool little drop tine point here. You can see he did not grow his devil tines, and his fronts last year were about that big. His thirds were not as long. They were only about that long, so he did gain on his thirds. His back end was about the same. He's got this little point that he grew, and then again, his fifth and royal are broken. Got the tape. Let's do a little scoring. See what he scores. Put your guesses in the comments now before I score him. Don't cheat. I'll give you one last look. Good fronts. Really good fronts. Really good third. Let's pretend his fifth on that side and his royal are intact for the score so whatever that one scores and whatever this one scores I'll probably just give it to him because they were about the same and yeah let's see how close you guys can get time to score him All right, we 
are done. We will check the phone. The phone says, now this is pretty rough. I'm not being super precise, but rough ballpark. 143 on his right side. 150 on the other side with a spread of 35 and a half. Puts him at 329. Now he is missing probably about two inches off of that side and probably another inch and a half to two inches on that side. So he could, he is probably a mid 330s bowl. 335 is what I'd say if he wasn't all busted up. Some of you guys might be like, that's just like an average bowl, but for the Wasatch Front, extended archery, a very giant bowl. And just the character in itself is awesome. Look, Tracker sad. Tracker, you sad Diablo's dead? Hey, Tracker, is Diablo dead? Mm. Yeah, it does suck, definitely. I mean, it's bittersweet. I got the head and the antlers, which is what you, what I hunted him for, you know, and he was cool. But it does suck that I didn't wasn't the one to put an arrow in him and recover his meat and all of that. So that part does suck, but there's Diablo. He's in my house now. Some of you probably wondering what's up with the uh, burn. Well, good friend of mine, Leroy, piled up outdoors is his Instagram. He euroed it for me, and this is kind of the, the style he does. So he boiled it. And then he takes a torch to it, and you can see he burnt some nice dark rings around the eye eye socket, and then down the bridge of the nose, just to kind of give it a different different style, a rustic look. I think it looks pretty dang sweet. Hit Leroy up if you guys think that's a that's an interesting or a, a cool look, something different than the, the typical European mount design. So yeah, there's Diablo, uh, 2016, 2017, 2018. I followed him and here he is 2019 in my room. It's going to be weird not going up the mountain, you know, with anticipation of seeing him. But there will be another big bull that I'll focus my attention on now next year. But Just a quick little basic video, but I thought you guys might appreciate seeing the bull that I've been after. And even though he died of causes that are unknown still, I was able to still wind up with his, his head and... You know, I feel like I can respect him pretty good and admire it, and I'll keep these forever. So, pretty happy that I ended up getting him in the in the end, even though it wasn't the way I, I wanted it to be. Again, thank you guys for watching. Just a quick little simple video, but thought you guys might enjoy it. Hey, come on, dude. We gotta keep it classy on the... <laughs> Subscribe if you guys haven't. Next week, I'm going to start moose shed hunting. So it's that time of year again. It's time to start looking for moose sheds. It's gonna be early, but I'll be out scouting and at least locating the bulls before they drop, if anything. I'm pretty excited, Tracker's excited. So make sure you guys subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next video.